Hello, I'm Nick Lali. Today at Wagooga, you're visiting my Lali Farms. At this farm, I'm growing blueberries, blackberries, 17 years of blueberry production, and three years into blackberry thornless variety. The reason I chose this property five years ago is the property is quite flat. These polytunnels, anything can be grown on these polytunnels, but polytunnels can be taken out easily. A glass house can be erected. You know, 40, 50 years from now, you know, food security, that, that, that's the future, agriculture, feeding the world. So I was very keen to get into this blackberry variety. It's, it's a whole new product. We'd, we'd been growing blueberries for around 15 years and now we're stepping into raspberries, blackberry side of things. You know, I, I realise that there's a market for blackberries soon opening up and there's new varieties coming through the line. So to get the amount of production, to make a viable, to justify the cost, I need to clear around another four or five hectares. So Nick made contact with local land services and we arranged a site visit with Nick. Um, well, we came out on site and we had a bit of a talk about what he wanted to achieve and um, worked with Nick to, to get him through a certification process. So Nick, these are the thornless varieties. Mm -hmm. Why have you opted to, to go with these? Look, this is the latest, like cutting edge technology, same thing, latest variety to come out of the US. And the reason being thornless and taste, quality of the fruit that this is bearing, this is the number one variety of blackberry in the world right now. So Nick's been approved to use the equity part of the code, which allows him to clear uh, just a little over five hectares, and he sets aside a little over 10 as a um, biodiversity offset for the amount of clearing that he's, he's um, undertaking. With the blackberries this year, we found in the peak season, I was employing around about 70 seasonal workers for the one hectare. In providing new varieties that can cover the work over a 12 month period, well, for the workers, you know, that's all they want. They don't want to be traveling around the countryside trying to get a week's work here and two weeks work there. They want to know, well, this is what we got and this is what's happening this month of the year. And then we're going to progress into this and then into that. And everybody wins. I, I have security, they have security. Nick's really been able to achieve great outcomes here. Just the employment alone that this approval will, will achieve for the local community is just fantastic. The money goes back into the community that's spent on farm. So with this new legislation act that has been approved for my property, it gives me security not just for myself, but also my family, for my children and maybe even their children. In any situation, it's good to have a bit of vegetation around a property uh, for any sort of animals, birds, and especially bees, native bees, is a massive bonus for, for myself in this property. So with the blackberries, I require a lot of pollination, the blueberries also. And by, well, with this 10 hectare set aside, I'm still guaranteeing I will have bees going into the future. So the set aside is actually links the vegetation through this section to larger tracts of vegetation either side of the property. Um, it also provides a windbreak to um, the crops that are presently on the property as well. So it's, it's situated between the blueberry crop and the blackberry crop. I'll be maintaining it, uh, keeping the weeds down, keeping clear of weeds, uh, wild dog eradication, any other sort of pests that should not be in this area. Working with Selena in the local department with this new act, the process was very streamlined. Three or four occasions, Selena visited the property, went through everything. I was happy, she was happy, the department was happy. I'd encourage any landholders that are looking at what their options are on farm to give us a call in at local land services. We've got really friendly staff that are here and happy to assist in any way that they can. Uh, we're highly trained and highly skilled at what we do and love coming out on site to assist landholders to achieve their goals.